watch part one, click on the card at the top of the screen. Today is the 27th of August. It's a Saturday, the sun is shining, and we are very excited to check out our sea adventure, which is Clacton on Pier. We've never been there, first time ever. Uh, over the years, this place has uh, invested a lot in uh, bringing in new rides and changing things around. So uh, this is one of the probably flagship rides that they recently bought from Aberdeen, Scotland. It is manufactured by the Italian firm called Pinfari. Pinfaris are well known for providing transportable uh, coasters and rides. Now it says this ride is open, but at the moment it is not open. I think they're doing some maintenance and checks. Uh, when I asked at the reception whether it's going to be open, they kind of gave me a very uh, vague reply. I'm hoping it's open. They seem to be trying to test it. Yeah, I think they're testing. Yeah. So it's running on. <coughs> usually has three cars with about 12 seats, I think. And it's based on like a pink. And they got the tracks, which are, sorry, purple. Purple and the yeah. yellow theming over there. And obviously, as the, as the name tells it, Looping Star, it's got one loop. Now I think it's it's very similar to the ride in, in Brighton Turbo. They might be by the same manufacturer. But yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see later on. So here we go, we're inside the Sea Curium. We got this nice, gorgeous looking thing. It's got all this information over there that you can have a look. This sea aquarium gives the whole new meaning to finding Nemo because we've been trying to find, find him. Nemo. And He's Nemo lost. Is Nemo's lost. Dory is there. Dory's, Dory's there. there. Dory's got a memory problem. Don't consult her. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of other like yeah. friends and things in there, but there is no Nemo. Absolutely. He's not, not even sleeping, is it? Oh, yeah. Ooh, Dory. Dory ran away. Yeah. Hello. Oh, Dory's too fast. So this girl is the friend of this fish. Look, he's talking to you. Actually, I'm not friends with this. I don't know what this is. I'm really sorry, I'm not going to feed you. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. Look, they think I'm going to feed. Oh, I feel really bad now. Yeah, that's what they feel. Oh, they, they actually think you're going to feed. Probably see oh, the I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry. Oh, what's going on? Uh, because it's feed. Oh, the food. Yeah. 
Look how fast they go. That's really fast. Oh my god. Should have gone on the top. Really fast. Oh, they actually That's really bad. Everyone's coming, you got everyone in. How the hell did you do that? I'm going to see There you go, that's a mini turtle. One over there as Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please subscribe. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> this this one feels good. Oh, no. Uh, no. And why, why does your snake have a label snake, on it? Snake, I'm a snake charmer. That's like a spider catcher type thing. So how was the, the, hold on, let me get my finger. Seaquarium. Seaquarium was, it was considering it's quite small. It did actually have some fish animal things in there. We usually used to go into Merlin sea life centers. If you're going to compare that with the other Merlin uh, aquarium sea life, it's not impressive, it's dirty, it's really small. But having said that, I kind of enjoyed the kind of selection of fishes that they actually have inside. We didn't right. locate Nemo though. Yes, the main thing yeah. is that finding Nemo needs a new movie. Three, three pounds if you're going standalone. Oh, with your wristband you get one time uh, to go inside. Not bad, not the best job. No. <laughs>
don't think, think I'm going to go again. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I'm going to go with that one again. Yep. Whoa. I did get the top one. I don't know. system is one of the most simplest no need for seat belts or anything just a straight lat bar and there's no rules you can do whatever you want which I really like when it comes to dodging I'm not a big fan of all these safety rules in bumper cars I'm gonna give that 9 out of 10 you yeah definitely that yeah. is by far one of the best bumper cars I've ever been very simple I, isn't it I don't like going on bumper cars because they give you whiplash most of the time but these yeah. were amazing they were really really good and really fun and like you say no rules Whatever you want, yeah. whoever you want, it's oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh. Oh. How do you touch it? Oh. That is not allowed. Oh. The time is about 7 pm and how would you write to like to wrap this video out? In a present. 
and then you can give it to someone. No, it's been a great day. We've really enjoyed our day out. I have to say that I do think that the ride aspect of Captain Pier is a little bit of a letdown for me personally because I was expecting them to have a bit more of an amount of rides as well as um, quality, I would say quality rides, what I mean by that is thrilling rides, yeah, more come thrill on. rides. Um, I would agree, I don't think it's better than Brighton, but if you get a wristband like us, amount of things they offer you besides the besides not just the rides you get the entrance to sea aquarium um, you have you don't get the wheel last time they offered wheel but you don't get that and you get a decent amount of games and some food free food you know that prize when he said you get 50 arcade prizes that means you can get any sweets and stuff like that overall considering all of that stuff for 20 something pounds i would definitely think it's worth it and you get your money's worth and because of that i'm going to give that a seven out of ten i'm gonna be more inclined to give it a six maybe a push six and a half out of ten i'm actually like to say i'm satisfied with what i what i've got in the beginning i was a bit disappointed uh looking at the rides they're not so good but um trying out all the other things that the wristband actually offered us i'm actually very impressed it's actually uh, very easy to find the place from the station Clapton on sea you basically walk it's just about 15 minutes walk now in terms of the rise the pier you go it's actually really small I mean it's past the arcade and all the rides are just connected to each other the only uh, ride that you could possibly miss is the uh, dodgem is it dodgem or bumper cars dodgem uh, dodgems yeah that is located inside the arcade right on the top next to the adventure golf who would you recommend uh, this place to? I would recommend this place to predominantly families or people with smaller children generally but I would also say that there is something for everyone if you like arcade, arcade games, video games um, and you like golf, you like dodgems, you like um, ice creams, you like days out, that kind of thing then it's definitely a family fun day out and the opening times don't you think they're very generous opening times like 11 till 9 p.m for the rides obviously you have to look at each uh, uh, individual attractions because they have different timings uh, for example the ferris wheel they close quite early and the sea life center as well maybe keep, like, keep saying sea life center they call sea it aquarium. sea aquarium what's the difference between sea life center yeah, sea, and li sea, sea life center insinuates that it's quite large a sea aquarium is just a little aquarium yeah 